have a question for you. Do you think you are a grateful person or an ungrateful person? Have you ever pondered this before? We generally tend to go through lives as zombies. We don't even pay attention to the things that are done for us, the good deeds that are done for us. And we don't seem to be aware of how we react to them or to that person who do these kind things to us or for us. So research shows that when we do kind gestures, it actually extends our lives. And there's tons of other benefits to being a grateful person and expressing your gratitude to people you're in a relationship with. So it could be romantic relationships, it could be work relationships, so business relationships, and it could just be platonic, friends, whatever. Gratitude, expressing it to someone else, allowing them to know how they are and the things that they do for your life, how it affects you and how it makes you feel really does help the overall picture. So it helps you, the, the, the giver, it helps you to feel more centered and happier and it helps the person who's receiving the kind gesture, the kind words, be more, um, feel more appreciated and loved, right? So. There are other reasons why we should practice gratitude, and here they are. So problems start out when the thing that our partners did to attract us and pull us in in the beginning of a, our relationship or beginning of that job, you know, the, the shiny office, you know, the whatever the perks are that you gained from a certain relationship that weans over time. Uh, we get used to it. We then become so ingrained in the everyday. We allow ourselves to get caught up in our busy lives, you know, dealing with the kids, dealing with um, business obligations and so forth. So what we were in awe of and what turned our crank in a sense and what attracted us to our partners we start to allow that to slip by the wayside in a sense we don't express how happy we are to be around that person how grateful we are to receive a thing from you know that organization or that person in our lives and that could lead to the other person feeling neglected and it could also turn you into an ungrateful person and I'm sure you don't want that for me the solution to preventing all of this is I allow myself when I am aware I become aware that I may be falling down this rabbit hole in a sense I allow myself to stop and seek center so I take a deep breath in and I ex exhale this breath out and I feel a wave of peace and calm come over me. And I do this before I approach my partner. I'm gonna speak on a relationship stance here. So if I want to express gratitude to my partner, I then, after doing this calming exercise, go to them so that I'm more authentic in my delivery of the thank you. I go to them and express how what they have done has made me feel how grateful I am of having them in my life through words and action. You lead up, you 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 um you follow up with action, but it's your delivery of your words and how you allow them to feel and see within you how grateful you are for them and for whatever it is that they have done for you. So that's my first tip. My second, oh, and you should always remember. You know, never forget the beginning phases, the beginning stages of this, you know, relationship. Remember that and allow that to sit at the forefront at all times so that you never neglect the other person. You always remember, even through the most difficult times, because relationships do have ups and downs. They're never steady. <laughs> you know, they're never going to be um, a constant stream of happiness, joy and love and fluffy that's fairy tale. That's, you know, 
I don't Cinderella not even Cinderella because she had issues um, but that real life is we have ups and downs in relationships whether it's your romantic relationship friendships work whatever you have ups and downs so it's how you are able to manage and move through these ups and downs that's the key and gratitude and exercising it is one of the most vital things to extending and having a long relationship you know the length carrying out a long-term relationship really does require you to be a grateful person um, my my second tip is you need to look your partner when you're delivering this message or you're talking to your partner you need to look them straight in the eye look at them feel them and deliver your gratitude to them so that they can pick up on your energy and they can see and feel your authenticity and my third tip is always 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 be authentic and honest with your partner always doesn't matter what the heck the situation is if it's going to if there's a potential of it going you know to this side which can be an unfavorable side doesn't matter be honest and authentic eventually when you get over the hump the other person your partner will be so appreciative of you and the fact that despite how it the situation was so difficult you still chose to remain positive and deliver the message despite the outcome of their reaction that will take you a long way as well so with all of that you tie it in my advice to you is Every day you wake, choose to be grateful for the little things in your lives. Appreciate the mundane, not the grandiose gestures, the little things. So an example is if your partner sees that you are cold and brings you a sweater or a blanket, appreciate that, you know, and reciprocate with your own kindness so that you can both feel appreciated and loved within your union. Be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, and express gratitude all the time in the midst of stress, joy, whatever. Be grateful because through your gratitude, you're telling the universe that you are accepting and you are welcoming all the goodness that it has in store for you and you understand that any situation that may feel difficult it's a learning process and you are therefore still grateful for it and in so doing you will start to receive less of the icky stuff and more of the good gushy stuff so that is my little tidbit for you today i hope this provided you with some help and benefit and i would love to hear from you if you have some insights or some tips yourself please leave them in the comment box below or go on the blog and leave them there as well um, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my offerings as they are delivered to you again thank you so much for lending me your ears and eyes I really, 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 really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you nothing but love and joy. Go out and be a light. Light up somebody's world. Be that beacon. I'll see you soon.